John Garen again with the One Minute How To series. This particular segment is on advanced file and folder sharing in Google Drive. So let's look at a particular file and we will talk about it as we go. So we click on the file that we want to share and we click on the share button like we did before. But instead of giving specific access to people, we're going to do an advanced setting. This allows us to give a much broader share instead of specific people who have to be logged in to view the account or to view the file you can change the specific access to broader communities for instance if you're at a group domain you can uh, give anybody at your domain access who has the link so you share the link through um, another post or a website or something or an email um, you can give them the ability to search for the file based on um, they know it exists and they can find it without the link uh, you can broaden this further and give anybody outside your domain access as long as they have the link or anybody uh, outside your domain um, who can also search and find it. As you go up on this, you're going to want to be careful about who you give permission to do things to. For instance, if it's within your community, you might give people edit uh, permissions because um, it, it, the nature of your community is okay doing that, your domain. Um, you can give anybody commenting um, permissions, but as you go up on this, you might want to limit to view only or be specific. At our domain, where this might be used is if you want to have only faculty or students have access to a file uh, with the link, you would click here. If you want anybody at our campus to view or find the file, they can click here. Uh, if you want parents to have access to it, they're not going to necessarily be within our domain, so you can give parents access to files by clicking on one of these two options. Again, as you go up, you might l think instead of giving people uh, edit access, you'd give them view. Here, you might give any student that has the link access because they're in your class and they would be the only ones to have the link. Uh, but those are the advanced sharing features. After you choose or change the settings of the, of the file, you hit save, and then you hit done. And now you have changed the advanced settings of sharing and permissions. Uh, if you do allow people editing, the more people you give ability ownership and creation to, you might want to click down here that allows uh, people to change the access and permissions that other people have or being able to share this with other people. Um, another thing is if you're sharing globally on the web you might want people to be able to see and access it but you don't want them to be able to download print so you want to maintain control of the information but you just want people to be able to have it. Uh, so there you go. Good luck and happy ha hacking with the advanced sharing and permissions features.